Well, hello out there, Fight Like a Girl fans, and um, I posed a question uh, to you. What situation uh, makes you the most uncomfortable? And uh, I got the answer of dark parking lots, being alone, walking alone, and things like that. So I wanted to show you uh, how something in your closet can be used uh, very similar to, to this, okay? And what is this? This is, this is a numb job, okay? Obviously, this is a numb job. Okay, so I don't expect, you know, I don't expect any of you to carry one of these around with you constantly and break down into a stance and throw it up and catch it and all these crazy things. However, we all know that if you get hit by a chuck, it hurts, okay? What is it in your closet that can act exactly the same thing as a chuck? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, you certainly can't walk around with these every day. And you certainly can't walk around with two chucks every day. So, I'm just showing you so you can have a bit of a concept. Now, I said there's something in your closet that you can use like a chuck. And I'm going to tell you what that is. But first, I'm going to show you the concept of a chuck. Uh, chucks are, are used to keep people away, and certainly if, if somebody is slinging a chuck like this, you're not going to come up to them because it's going to hurt. Now, with the chucks, when we strike somebody, we strike to the head, okay? We strike down, and we strike up, and we strike across, and we can even strike, ooh, back if somebody's behind us. You see that? Boom! That's not just for looks. That's to hit somebody that's behind you. Now, I certainly don't expect you to be able to act like a crazy person like this, okay? However, you can use an item that you wear and fight like a girl with it, okay? Now, we know that not everybody is going to be doing double chucks, okay? However, if I am swinging these at this rate, I doubt very seriously if anybody's going to come up to me. Because these things are swinging so hard, they come near me, they're going to get hit and they're going to get hurt. So I'm going to show you in just a minute, live from Quite Like a Girl headquarters today, November 19th, what you can use in your uh, closet to keep you safe that's very similar to the nunchuck. Okay, I am back and um, I'm going to show you how you can use your, your belt uh, as a means to protect yourself um, if you need to. So pay attention. How is a belt similar to a chuck? No, I don't expect for you to carry these around all the time. However, um, when you're wearing a belt, make sure that you pick one. This one's very fashionable, but if you would notice, it has a metal buckle on the end of it, which is very painful. Uh, not only are my belts stylish, but on the outside of it, they have studs. So that um, adds even more to pain, or as my PT would say, paininator. Become a paininator. And then the back side is slick, okay? So you want to make sure that when you pull it out, it's slick, okay? So try not to use belts that have a back that's not slick that don't want to come out. So um, you're saying, well, how am I supposed to use the belt to keep myself safe? Well, um, I'm going to show you, <laughs> okay? Uh, my, my job is to do whatever I can to make you think of ways to keep yourself safe. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, I have my belt on here. It's a reversible Balkum, and yes, it's through all the loops. I'm not cheating. I'm not going to show you any skin or anything. It's on all the way on. I have it all the way on. Okay? Now, if I need to pull this out quickly, I can simply do so. Even if somebody's behind me, I can pull it out very quickly. It's out that fast. Okay? Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? I'm going to put it back on. Okay. Put it back on one. I'm not to show my knees, belly. This is for my ladies who are scared of dark parking lots. Okay, 
if you're scared of being by yourself, then sleep with the belt on. Um, really, I'm just gonna be serious. Okay, so it's on, it's through all the loops, okay? Practice putting your left hand here, right hand on top, pulling back, okay? So I know I'm gonna take my belt off. So my left hand's here, I unhook this way, left hand comes here, pulls it out. Now watch, the right hand grabs the belt buckle, pulls it out, boom, very simple. Watch what I do next. From here, I loop it over my arm like so, okay? Then I switch, okay? And I pull the belt buckle so that's on the outside. See it, okay? And then we're gonna use the belt buckle for protection. If you have to pull this out and you're swinging this in multiple directions, I can guarantee you, you hit somebody with this belt buckle, it's not gonna feel good. I've done it myself. So you would swing, whip, whip, and if somebody's behind you, you got attack here, attack there, you just whip that stuff around any way you can. You know, you know, I just go, ah, 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 you know, whip it down, whip it here, whip it out, whip it around, okay? Bring it down, ouch, chow, just got him in the you know what this is. So this can fend off multiple attackers by swinging it in a crazy fashion, okay? Now, okay, make sure your kids are out the way when you're doing this at the house. Try not to hurt yourself because you're going to knock yourself out, okay? So you're going to pull it out and you're going to come around and here and here and swing one, swing two. And when you want to put it back on, swing down and around and hook. And it's back on. So that is how you can use fashion to keep yourself safe. And that's the fight like a girl ethic. Hope this helps you out. And if you missed it, you can always reverse it. Signing off from Fight Like a Girl Headquarters. The signing off from Fight Like a Girl Headquarters today, November 19, 2013.